In this video, we'll be taking a look at two college basketball games happening on April 2, 2024, and providing you with free team picks and total picks for each one of those games, so four picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports, let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released, so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these two college basketball ball games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive sports picks to take your journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer our best single picks, parlay picks, and much more. Now let's get started. Utah vs. Indiana State The National Invitation Tournament semifinals are locked in, kicking off with a clash between the Utah Utes and the Indiana State Sycamores. Utah, seeded second in their bracket, clinched victories against UC Irvine, Iowa, and VCU en route to this stage. On the flip side, Indiana State, topping their bracket, secured wins against SMU, Minnesota, and Cincinnati, all on their home turf, to reach the semifinals. The winners will progress to the National Invitation Tournament Championship, awaiting the victor of the Seton Hall vs. Georgia game. Indiana State enjoys the advantage of playing close to home, just an hour and 40 minutes away from Terre Haute. In their recent showdown against Cincinnati, they rallied in the second half, notching 53 points to secure a narrow four-point win. Robbie Avila shone brightly with 22 points, six assists, and four rebounds, leading a balanced scoring effort with four players tallying at least 12 points. The Sycamores boast an average of 85 points per game, with their defense conceding an average of 73 points. Avila remains a standout performer, averaging 17 points while shooting an impressive 53% from the field. Utah has left an impression in the National Invitation Tournament, cruising through without facing significant challenges yet. In their previous matchup against VCU, their defense tightened, allowing only 54 points while securing a comfortable 20-point victory. Abe Madsen displayed his prowess with 18 points, 3 rebounds, and 2 assists, while Brandon Carlson contributed 17 points, 3 rebounds, and 3 assists. With an average of 78.5 points per game and a defense yielding 72 points, Utah has shown consistency. Carlson, averaging 17 points and shooting at 50% from the field and 37.6% from beyond the arc, stands as a key player. Anticipate Utah to keep this game tight possibly even securing an outright victory. Their performance throughout the NCAA tournament has been dominant. Indiana State's recent narrow escape against Cincinnati suggests vulnerability, especially in defense. Utah's offensive prowess shouldn't encounter much resistance, tipping the scales in their favor. The winner of this matchup will lock horns with Seton Hall or Georgia in the National Invitation Tournament Finals. Thus, the Utah Utes to cover the spread as underdogs is our full game side pick. Both teams rank within the top 60 nationally in pace of play, with Utah at 58th and Indiana State at 38th. Comfortable with a fast-paced game, neither side will seek to slow down the tempo. Utah found themselves under the total in two out of three tournament games, even in a high-scoring bout against Iowa, ending at 91-82. Similarly, Indiana State went over in two of their three games, combining with SMU for a total of 193 points in the first round. Boasting five players averaging over 10 points per game, Indiana State ranks 16th in offensive efficiency, though defensively, they lag behind at 109th, relying heavily on outscoring opponents. The over has been a favorable outcome for both teams, with Utah sporting a 20-16 record against the over under this season and hitting the over in nine of their last 14 games. Meanwhile, Indiana State has hit the over in 21 of their last 36 games, holding a 21-15 record against the over under this season. In the last 10 games, both Utah and Indiana State have hit the over in six games each. Expect a fast-paced, high-scoring affair, making over the projected total our full-game total pick. Georgia vs. Seton Hall On Tuesday night, the other Final Four takes center stage as the National Invitation Tournament narrows down to its last four teams. This year's National Invitation Tournament action unfolds in Indianapolis, specifically at the Hinkle Fieldhouse, the stomping ground of the Indiana Pacers. In the second game of Tuesday night's doubleheader, the Georgia Bulldogs and the Seton Hall Pirates clash, vying for the coveted spot in the National Invitation Tournament title showdown. The Seton Hall Pirates have showcased an impressive performance 
performance throughout this season, boasting solid statistics in various aspects of the game. Their offensive firepower is evident, averaging 73 points, 37.3 rebounds, and 12.9 assists per game. They exhibit remarkable accuracy with a shooting percentage of 50.4% from the field. On the defensive front, the Pirates have proven their mettle, averaging 7.5 steals and 4.8 blocks per game. However, they face challenges, with opponents managing to score an average of 70 points and shoot 49.2% from the field against them. Nevertheless, the Pirates' robust rebounding game, with an average of 34.3 rebounds per game, has been instrumental in maintaining their competitive edge. Throughout the season, Seton Hall has maintained a record of 16-19 against the spread in all their games with a betting line. When playing away, they've secured a record of 4-7 against the spread. In the ongoing National Invitation Tournament, the Pirates have showcased strong form, boasting a record of 2-1 against the spread. Noteworthy is their successful coverage of the point spread in their previous two games. On the flip side, the Georgia Bulldogs have emerged as a force to be reckoned with on the court this season. They've consistently notched an average of 75 points per game while shooting an impressive 50% from the field. Their prowess extends to dominating the boards, averaging 35.8 rebounds per game, and facilitating teamwork with 11.8 assists per game. Defensively, the Bulldogs have held their ground, averaging 3.1 blocks and 6.4 steals per game. However, their opponents have put up a tough fight, scoring an average of 74 points per game, shooting 49.7% from the field, and securing 31.7 rebounds against the Bulldogs. In the realm of sports betting, the Georgia Bulldogs have have made a mark this season, boasting a commendable record of 21 to 14 to 1 against the spread in all their games with a betting line. Their success shines particularly bright in away games, where they've covered the point spread in 11 out of 12 matches. Moreover, the Bulldogs have carried their stellar performance into the National Invitation Tournament, covering the point spread in their last three games. This trend is anticipated to persist, so the Georgia Bulldogs to cover the spread as underdogs is our full game side pick. Both teams have been prolific scorers in the National Invitation Tournament, averaging over 75 points per game, with Seton Hall nearly hitting the 80-point mark. Seton Hall's offense has operated with exceptional efficiency, evidenced by their 22 assist showcase against UNLV in their recent outing. Shooting nearly 50% in the tournament, both teams have been consistent in sinking over 10 three-point field goals per game in the National Invitation Tournament. With neither team squandering possessions, both are expected to enjoy ample opportunational invitation tournamenties at the basket. Thus, anticipate this game surpassing the projected total, making over the projected total our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyzed, subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.